I'd like to welcome you to WebHopper, the ultimate time killer. WebHopper allows you to hop around millions of random web pages. These are pages you may never have come across during your everyday browsing. It's an incredibly fun, addictive experience, so let's get started. As soon as you load the app, it's going to hop to a new random site. You can pinch to zoom, double tap to zoom in on a column of text, and scroll around just like you were in your normal web browser. And when you're done reading the current page, you can hop to the next one. And where you're going to land up, no one knows. And that's half the fun. Tap here to lower down an options panel. You can email the link to yourself or someone else. You can copy it to the clipboard so you can paste it in any other app. You can load the page into the standard web browser so if you'd like to keep hopping and save the page for a little bit later, you can take advantage of WebOS's multitasking and do that. You can save the page as a bookmark so you can visit it at a later time. You can view its details such as the title, the description if it was there, and the number of people that dug it. And you could read the comments that other people have left about this page. And leave your own as well. Comments are submitted through dig.com. Speaking of which, WebHopper is using the incredibly large and diverse database of web pages stored on dig.com to find your next random web page. But sometimes you may want to focus in on a more specific topic. Tap here to display the app's configuration screen. By default, you can hop to random pages from any category. But if you'd like, you can choose only the categories you're interested in. The categories you choose are saved and will be restored the next time you load the app. You can also choose to only visit pages that were popular with many other people. But keep in mind you may miss out on a hidden gem out there. In addition to defining categories, you have a few other options on how to narrow down your results. You can search by a particular keyword or phrase. So if I'm interested in solar energy, I can find a random web page about solar energy. Or if I'm interested in a particular person, Michael Jackson, I can find a random web page about Michael Jackson on TMZ, apparently. Okay, lovely. Also, in addition to keyword searching, you can do domain searching. So if I wanted to find other fun articles on TMZ, I can tap here and now hop to another page on TMZ. Let's see what other celebrity uh, gossip I could find. Lindsay Lohan, okay. And if I keep hitting hop, I'm gonna keep searching for the same uh, search criteria, which in this case is TMZ.com. Okay, David Letterman extortionist. Yes, I remember that from last year. In addition, I can type in any domain I want to, not just the current uh, site's domain. So if I wanted to search, let's say, CNN.com and find an interesting news article, I could do that as well. Your wireless feature, very interesting. So let's go ahead and save that as a bookmark for later. And now I've saved that as a bookmark. Let me view my bookmarks by tapping down here. And now I've saved that as a bookmark for later. If I want to restore one of my uh, bookmark pages, I just simply tap on it and it brings it up. If I want to delete one of the pages, I can just swipe it off the screen. You may have noticed that at the top right corner of the screen, there's a question mark. If you need a helping hand and want to figure out how to use a particular feature, then tap on it to activate the interactive help system. A series of help balloons are going to appear highlighting all the current screen's hotspots. So if I wanted to find out what that star does, I could find out that it displays my bookmarks. And every screen is going to have a different set of help balloons. And if I wanted to deactivate the interactive help system, just tap on the question mark again. And if you need additional assistance, you can go to the app's help screen and view video tutorials directly on your device. And this list is dynamic, so as I add new videos, which are associated with new features of the app, you can come here and view them. Other resources are available to you, such as the Frequently Asked Questions section, a link to my website, 
a link to my discussion forum on precentral.net, and email links as well. And if you look really carefully, you may find some Easter eggs hidden in the app. For hints, check out the FAQ. WebHopper is available right now as a free app in the app catalog. So what are you waiting for? Download it now, start hopping around the web, and you may never know what you may find out there.